Jogo's last fight in the series just got recently animated, and since there's a lot of memes about this guy's strength, like, a lot, today I'll be going over why Jogo unironically is one of the stronger characters of the Jujutsu Kaisen verse, and why people need to stop downplaying Jogoat. If you guys have any suggestions for who I should cover on Fraud Watch next, then please let me know down below. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the title as how strong is Jogo, or why Jogo isn't a fraud, or is Jogo a fraud, I'm not really sure. But overall, you get the general message, I'm basically getting the most controversial character that's popping off and I try to scale them as objectively as possible. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoy and let's get into the user of Infinite Volcano. Now, Jogo just off of his introduction alone was portrayed to be far stronger than the likes of the Finger Bearers and Three Finger Sukuna. This is not only implied by Gojo and Yuji, but Mahito estimates Sukuna's energy and would say that it's overall lower than Jogo's. Jogo as well manages to tank a reversal red, which is something not too many characters can say and should easily upscale from things like Mechamaru's Blast that can easily wipe out city blocks when fully generated, to even reaching those small town levels with the Finger Bearers just with its raw curse energy alone being able to emit a lot of light in a pretty huge cave. This is a curse that Megami, who just fresh with his domain, beat with the skin of his teeth, and I'm not gonna lie, I don't think me or anyone else who watches JJK believes that this Megami can really even do anything to Jogo. Especially when we see just how much in a different league Jogo is in Season 2 in comparison to a lot of the characters we know. When we get to Shibuya, we finally get to see what every disaster curse is capable of, and we get to see more of a little sea creature named Dagon. This disaster curse, before casting his domain, would get outsped and over overwhelmed by Naobito, and when this is happening, Dagon would compare his speed to Jogo's and say that he's probably faster. Now, this should mean more for Naobito than anything, but I believe it should also mean something for Jogo to a degree, since Dagon is getting overwhelmed and the first comparison he makes is towards Jogo. Oh my god, mind the voice crack. They encounter Jogo himself, and due to Naobito having one arm, his speed would be really nothing too much for Jogo to handle, and he'd literally cook him, Nanami, and Maki. And Nanami would make a statement before becoming a recipe himself that Jogo is on a whole other level in comparison to Dagon. I've seen people try to downplay this and say that it's in reference to overall cursed energy. I don't think this is what it means, since it's not like Nanami is sensing the two base powers and comparing the two. He's seen Dagon's full capabilities and is watching Jogo go mega casual and is still somehow coming to the conclusion that Jogo is on a whole other level. And I think the gap just widens even further when we get into Jogo's strongest abilities being both the Maximum Meteor and Coffin of the Iron Mountain, respectively. Maximum Meteor was not only able to wipe out an entire city, but also even damage the likes of 15 Finger Sukuna, had the attack actually landed. Sukuna has no real reason to lie, as literally 5 seconds ago, he was just insulting him throughout the entire time he was wombo comboing him. Obviously, if Sukuna is just standing there as a city-wiping meteor drops on his head, obviously some damage is bound to be caused, but to what degree is ambiguous. This then leads us into Jogo's domain expansion, that being the Coffin of the Iron Mountain. Jogo's able to produce a large mountain within his domain, and obviously since this is Jogo's cursed energy, he should scale to it, and Dagon, who I already established Jogo being above, is able to generate an actual island with his domain. Though some calculations have this to being around the mountain range, if you're not a big fan of that, well then you can just say with his domain, Jogo is either mountain or island level. And if you think Hanami is physically more impressive than Dagon, which he should be, then Jogo should be above since he has portrayed relativity to Hanami. Not only does Jogo have the feats and statements to safely say that he's above Dagon, but I think just in a straight up domain clash, Jogo probably wins that too. He also has things like domain amplification, which neutralizes the guaranteed hit effects of domain expansions, and it allows you to get past curse techniques that aren't out of your tier of strength. For example, Jogo and Hanami tried using this on Gojo to counter Infinity, but because he was so much stronger than them, the Infinity just overpowered the amplification since Gojo just put more cursed energy than they did. Jogo is unironically very powerful. It's just unfortunate the only two fights he really participates in or is known for are against the two strongest in the verse. He's easily the strongest disaster curse that probably isn't Mahito, though that in itself is a debate since it all depends on if you think Mahito when he's reborn reached the tapped into potential that Jogo saw within him. But besides this narrative argument, which you guys already know how I feel about those, Jogo low-key has better feats than this Mahito? and should be able to get around his curse technique with domain amplification. Though, at the same time, it just kind of doesn't make sense for Mahito not being the strongest disaster curse. But again, that's why I said it's a debate in itself. At least, in terms of showings, he has the best feats among the disaster curses. 
As for his speed, well, Nanami and Maki both have hypersonic calcs due to point blank reacting to both early Mahito and bullets, which both are way into the hypersonic ranges of speed, putting Jogo's combat and reaction speed anywhere from over Mach 27 to over Mach 100. And again, this is combat and reaction speed. Obviously, Jogo is not going to be fucking running at these speeds. Like, come on, he's not the Flash. It's safe to say, despite the memes within the community, Jogo is a force to be reckoned with, and if you want to know how strong Joe Goat is, well, nah, he'd win. He has the statement of being the king of curses, plus the alone and honored one, along with infinite volcanoes, so if it's a one-on-one -on -one and you want to baby rage at your opponent, always bet on Joe Goat.